my name is Felista. So we're we'll looking at some more other questions asked in NHS interview questions on the histology. So one of the questions are, what will you do if the tissue processor stops while processing the following day? This sometimes happens. So that is why this question is asked. So as a biomedical scientist, you should know what to do when you come the next day and your tissue processor stopped. So you want to know, did this tissue processor stop while the tissues were still in alcohol? Did they stop in xylene or did they stop in wax? If you come the next day and your tissue were still in wax, probably wax one, and it stopped working, most times in wax one, tissues are very good because it has passed through the stage of dehydration, it has passed through the stage of clearing, and is in the stage of impregnation. So at that point, most times you, your tissues are not usually affected. So you feel it, you feel the integrity of the tissue, then you can proceed to the second bath of wax to complete the procedure. Then you bring it out for embedding. But if it stops in xylene, it's usually very tricky. So first, you check the integrity of the tissue. If the tissues are shrink, that means you need to do a back processing. You need to take it back briefly to alcohol to absorb water. Then you need to bring it back to xylene. But if you feel the integrity and it's still okay, normally we have three baths of xylene, three changes of xylene. So that means you proceed to the second stage, which is xylene one, xylene two, then third stage, xylene three. But first stage, like I said, take note of the stage, Check the integrity. The integrity of tissue would determine. Integrity of tissue is filled by taking one or two of the cases within that batch, fill it, because it should not be shrinked, and it should not be too hardened. She should just be. She still feel soft, not too soft. Feeling too soft that means it's not yet fixed or has not the um, water has not been removed completely. That means probably it stopped while still in alcohol. So that means you still need to leave it in more changes of the alcohol for complete removal of water. So the integrity of the tissue would determine the next stage you should move. So when you check the integrity of the tissue and it tells, okay, it's okay or it's not okay, that means you might now decide, okay, let me do a back processing or let me move forward. So that would actually guide you. Then you switch to manual processing immediately, like I've said. If you come in the morning and it's still in, a, it's still in alcohol, and it's, the water is gradually going off. That means you move to other stages of alcohol. Or that's, or you saw it in the last change of alcohol. That means the absolute alcohol. And it's still oak and the integrity is good. That means you move to xylene. What xylene 1, xylene 2, xylene 3, 1, 1 hour. Then you move to wax 1, 2 hours, wax 2. Then you embed. Record the machine downtime. Do some triple troubleshooting if you can. If it's not still working, you call the maintenance thing. And remember, log every occurrence. So that will also help whoever is going to work on that machine. Next time, such thing happen. Once you go through the occurrence, log, okay, something like this have happened. This is what this person did. That is the whole essence of filling occurrence log. It helps. It's like a training guide for whoever is coming to work on that machine next time. Please do we understand this. When your machine stops in the middle of work, take note of the steady stop, check the integrity of the tissue, switch to manual processing, record the machine downtime, do a little troubleshooting if you can. If it's not still working, call the maintenance team, then fill the occurrence log. We'll look at another question asked during interviews on the NHS in histology. How will you remedy a H and &E quality score of three? H and E is hematoxylin you seen stain, and you have a score of three, which is poor. Your quality score of three is poor. What will you do? That means the slides needs to be restained. So first, from the look of the slide, it can also guide you to know, okay, this stain was left too long in hematoxylin, or was not properly stained in hematoxylin, or was left too long in eosin, or was understained in eosin or the differentiation was not properly done or was overdone so but of course doing a microscopic check it's the best guide not just looking at it physically so at whatever whatever uh, it's the challenge with such a slide 
that will guide you to know what to do. So a quality score of three is poor. That means your slide needs to be restained. But like I said, taking note of all of these things I've, I've checked first, would love to know what to do. If to get a new batch of stain of hematoxylin or eosin stain, then when a new batch of hematoxylin or eosin stain is done, certainly a QC needs to be done. QCs are control slides used for to check the quality of your stain before you proceed to start staining the patient's sample. I know somebody have asked a question on um, troubleshooting of H and A. I think that this question will lead us to that in our next lecture: how to troubleshoot H and A. Because a couple of things can affect your H and A staining. The buffer, the, wa the water you are using to blow, can affect it if it is not basic enough. The quality of your stain, the amatoslin or the your stain, the, the slight stain in the amatoslin for too long, or if it is not properly differentiated with the one percent acid alcohol to remove the excess stain, if it overstained the your stain, if your tissue were not properly de-waxed, all of this can affect it. So I think we'll take it one by one. They will look at the remedy for each of the problem that I've listed. So in our next lecture, that's what we'll be looking at, the troubleshooting of H and E staining, at which whatever cause it is, the remedy for each one like that, that is how we'll take it through. So if you have a quality score of three for H and E, you need to restain those slide, a new batch of stain, perform a QC on it, ensure your slides are properly the wax before staining, before you proceed. Thank you.